And hello, Stockholm, because we're now connecting with Stockholm. In 2015, uh, the Sustainable Development Goals were uh, made public to the world. And there was a Swedish person behind this. I'm sure you all are all aware of this, that the communication, the platform, the language for 7 million people were designed by a Swedish man called Jakob Tolbeck. And uh, he is now based in Sweden. He was then based in, in New York City, and he runs the company, The New Division. And together with the CEO, the new, fairly new CEO of The New Division, Louise Koenig, they will now introduce something very exciting that is called the IDGs. And the Inner Development Goals, it spells, uh, that aim to provide a framework to help individuals and also organizations become more effective uh, in the work towards greater sustainability and also well-being. So I think we will start with some music uh, and then after that, give them a warm hand, Jakob Tolbeck and Louise Koenig. Thank you. I just have to make this one little comment regarding the previous session and incubators and all of this. There's clearly nothing as dangerous as old ideas that are still profitable. We're talking about we need more demand for innovation. And what's in the way is just those big, old, ugly ideas that still makes a lot of money. Anyway, over to this. So, uh, as you can tell from the uh, little reel that we put together, uh, I'm, I'm crazy about communication. I just love communication, probably because I'm a nerd, and that's the way that you can be appreciated for what you do. And um, when you're going to do communication, you have to understand that information is not communication. And the first thing you have to do is to weed out all of the things that you don't need. You discard everything that means nothing. So that's what we did for the UN system. We got a simple language. So we could make some uh, pictures and that turned into these lovely cubes here on the stage. And um, we thought that we would build a brand also for it. So we did a, a logotype for it. And then there was still not enough action and enough understanding. So uh, we said, well, the 17 are sort of categories. There are 169 go goals, like real goals, the targets. How can we make them understandable? So we actually made another 169 icons. And the icons was actually not the hardest thing. It was to 
simplify the whole language. And we call this um, the periodic table of change. So um, still not that much action. So we, we said, why don't we appeal to painting a picture of the future? So we said, uh, if we formulate this as um, imagine a world where there's no poverty and zero hunger. We have good health and well-being, quality education, and full gender equality everywhere. Affordable and clean energy has helped us. There's clean water and sanitation for everyone. Affordable and clean energy has helped to create decent work and economic growth. And our prosperity is fueled by investments in industry, innovation, and infrastructure. And that has helped us to reduce inequalities. We live in sustainable cities and communities, and responsible consumption and production is healing our planet. Climate action has capped the warming of the planet, and we have flourishing life below water and abundant, diverse life on land. We enjoy peace and justice through strong institutions and have built long-term partnerships for the goals. Yeah. Isn't it a beautiful text that 300 pages could be turned into one page? And it sounds so simple. And Jacob and I, we often discuss, we actually live in a world that symbolizes so much of that but many people do not. So then came the question, why is not more happening? We are midterm now, we have seven years to 2030, so why is not more happening? So we started thinking about what is it in our capacity, skills and potentials as human beings that is not really working? So we defined a new language called the inner development goals. How many of you have heard about them? Some of you, fantastic. So what we asked ourselves, what kind of abilities, capacities do people need as individuals, teams, organization, you as leaders to drive the agenda, to create more change, to create more impact? So we asked 2,000 people what kind of qualities people need, and this is what they came up with. A little bit the same black and white language, 300 pages, just like the United Nations, even though this was an individual initiative. And we came up with a cluster and that was then five dimensions mm -hmm. and it was relationship to self how do i relate to myself cognitive skills caring for others and the world social skills and driving change and then again could we simplify even more could we make it even more simple to understand and remember five things fingers you have on you know, on your hand, if you're lucky. Yeah, being, thinking, relating, collaborating, acting. So this is the new language, a co-creation between many scientists, uh, a few individuals, uh, a number of companies around the world who are now engaged in how can we develop this world and a system and a language that everybody can understand in an organization and in a company to drive change. And just to have one simple uh, example before we're going to end off here and we're going to invite you to the masterclass tomorrow morning is to take thinking. This is probably something most of you do and spend the most of your time uh, at work doing. And what kind of capacities do we need in terms of thinking and to accelerate that even more? So if we take the next slide, Jacob. So we want you to assess what is your critical thinking ability? Is it allowed to be critical in your organization? Is it part of your company culture or not? And is it low or is it high? How do you work with complexity awareness? Do you seek different perspectives? How do you work with different uh, stakeholders? How do you involve in public-private partnership? How do you uh, seek perspectives? How do you make sense of things? And how do you work with long-term orientation and visioning? Do you work on a quarterly basis, three years, five years? Or do you think in generations and 100 years? So. Tomorrow morning, we're going to work with this. We're going to go through the system a little bit more, and we're going to do a workshop where you can co-create together with us and be part of this. And we would love for this language, combining the SDG and the IDGs, to be a bigger part of innovation in Sweden.
Jacob. Yeah, so we have now these two systems. The um, IDGs is, is still under development, but you can look at it uh, this way, that you actually have uh, our internal capacities and you focus them on solving the external challenges that we have. So uh, this is something that we believe really strongly in for businesses, organizations, and also when you get into this, and I hope you all will, you realize that it's also really good for yourself. All of these skills and capacities is stuff that you like, yeah, I need trust, I need humility, I need compassion, I need creative thinking, I need resilience, I need, there's just uh, currently 23 super skills and they will make your life better. Thank you. Thank you.